as we look at day nine with the different messianic prophecies that were fulfilled in Jesus's life they gave us a lot this was a lot more than 15 to 20 minutes of uh, reading scripture and uh, meditating on the responses so it probably took 30 45 minutes I'm not sure how long it took me to be honest maybe an hour or two uh, but it was a real rich time just kind of seeing trying to step back and seeing the big scope of everything of just uh, prophecy after prophecy after prophecy fulfilled in Jesus and so God's entire hand God's hand was on Jesus's life which we know but this was his plan through and through and God's plan came to fruition one particular passage that stuck out to me was in Psalm 22 I love it it's from where Jesus quoted the, at least the beginning on the cross where he says my God my God why have you forsaken me why are you so far from helping me and so if you remember when Jesus, he's he's up on the cross, they hear him cry out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And what I believe Jesus was doing there, he was communicating to his believers, to his followers, who those who were there in the crowd, not that God has forsaken him, not that God can't look on sin. If God can't look on sin, how did he see you and I before we accepted Jesus as our savior? He can't. He can't look, he can't not look at us. He, God is everywhere. He's fully aware of everything. So what Jesus was doing was he was referring his believers back to Psalm 22. Back here so they can really, they can read this incredible messianic prophecy here. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? They can read it and they can be encouraged that what was predicted by David a thousand years before was now being fulfilled here. It goes on, but you are holy. Verse 3, enthroned in the praises of Israel. God is holy. God is fully in charge. He is fully in control. Jesus talking, David talking about Jesus, a reproach of men despised by the people. All those who, who, who see me ridicule me. They shoot out of the lip. They shake the head saying he trusted the Lord. Let him rescue him. Hmm, sounds just like on the cross. Let him deliver him since he delights in him. This is exactly what Jesus did. This is exactly how they ridiculed him. And it was fulfilled perfectly on the cross. Skip down to verse 14. I am poured out like water. And all my bones are out of joint. Not broken. But fatigued on that cross. Poured out like water when the soldier put in the spear into his side. For dogs have surrounded me. Verse 16. They pierced my hands. In my feet so rich Jesus was pointing them back to these prophecies pointing them back to see this is exactly God's plan this is God's plan for for Jesus in our lives God is trying to act out his plan for us why for his glory so his name can be glorified in the earth so let's pray to the one who perfectly accomplished everything in Jesus who can perfectly accomplish his will in our lives Lord, we thank you so much for fulfilled prophecy after fulfilled prophecy for time and time again, showing yourself faithful, being a faithful, warm, loving, caring God. Lord, I do pray that you would encourage us, Lord, that you would strengthen us in our heart and our soul, and that we would fall deeper and deeper in love with you. It's in Christ name we pray. Amen. So thank you again for joining us here for day nine as we follow this 40-day journey of just falling in love more and more Jesus. Bye.